Hi guys, welcome back to Wrinkle Reptiles. This is going to be a very short introduction. This is the glamour shot video for my second clutch. I just really wanted to show you this girl right here. This girl here did not get a picture. Um, simply because she's not going to be put up for sale. I'm going to take pictures of her on my phone and then posting them up on my records. However, this girl isn't getting a picture. This is a super spot nose. I got some opinions from other people and they believe this to be the super pastel, super spot nose clown, um, simply because they said the head. I'm not quite sure. I'm obviously going to prove her out because I'm going to breed her. The wobble on this girl here is not extremely bad. She has wobble, you can tell. However, she's not corkscrewing all over the place. She's able to write herself up and luckily she just took down her first meal. Um, so very thankfully the super spot nose in this clutch, both of them ate, both of them are looking fine. Wobble isn't too bad. I'm of course going to keep the stress down for them during this sensitive time in their youth. Um, but I just wanted to show her off to you guys. This is the female. She looks absolutely fantastic. You're going to see a close-up of the male, her male counterpart, her clutch mate, and she looks basically exactly like him. So you're going to be able to at least see him, and they basically look very similar. All right, guys. Well, hope you like the video, and I'll catch you guys on the other side. All right, guys. So let's get this glamour shot video started. So let's start off with the pastel clown female. This was uh, the first female pastel clown I ever produced. Um, first ever clutch, so that's really nothing, <laughs> not much of a landmark thing I produced. But I just wanted to quickly say that this pastel looks very different than the pastel I've produced before. Now, I am going to be making a video in the future talking about different um, lines of jeans. One of them is pastel. Um, and this, I think. I have a perfect example here because this pa uh, female pastel looks very different compared to the male uh, pastel clown I produced on my first clutch. So that's just kind of food for thought, kind of a heads up on the next video I'm going to be making. Um, but yeah, this animal just looks pretty different. I don't think there's anything else in her. I don't, or in him, I'm sorry. Um, I don't think he has spot nose or anything else like that in, in him. So I think that's just a plain pastel clown male. Pretty nice looking though. Now next up, I produced two uh, male spot nose clowns. There's really nothing to write home about. I've produced spot nose before. Um, you know, they're just pretty good looking guys. They've both eaten, so they're both pretty hungry. Now, the spot nose, you can really tell it's in a combination, obviously, because they might have spots on the nose. And because on the flaming that comes up the side, you can kind of see in these pictures, um, there is like this pixelation in those flames. There's like a dark, dark tints on the edge of the scales if you really look at it up close. Um, so you can really tell that the spot nose is in a combination when you see that. Now, um, Moving on to the pastel Batman. Now, in the previous video before, I did pull out my pastel leopard um, to kind of compare it to this guy to see if um, there was spot nose in him. And I got to tell you that the, the difference is, uh, well, firsthand, you know, because you have to look at him through a shitty camera. Um, there is a big difference in coloration. This male is much darker. And this guy actually has that signature pixelation in the flames that are coming up on the side. That's the main reason why I um, ID this guy as a pastel uh, Batman and not just a pastel leopard like the, like the last girl. So next up, keeping this trend going, it, this here is a super pastel or a killer Batman. Super pastel leopard spot nose clown. Uh, he looks absolutely fantastic. The colorations in person are much better. <laughs> you know, I'm sure you guys have seen uh, people show off this type of animal. 
much more um, much more accurately in film than I can. Um, but I gotta tell you, in person they look much better. Um, obviously this guy has the same characteristics of spot nose, has lots of uh, pixelation in the flames and just real busy. Uh, so it's just, I think it's pretty easy to ID as, um, as a killer Batman or a super spot nose uh, leopards. Super, super pastel leopard spot nose clown. Gosh, I'm 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 uh, I'm getting ahead of myself there. So the uh, next animal here is the uh, Batman male I produced. I can really see why Canova made a big deal of this guy years back, and the whole reason why you know those spot nose really got picked up on the hobby. I can you know it's just he looks absolutely fantastic. It looks much better in person. This guy's already eaten before. So it's a um, fantastic looking animal. If this animal was a female, I might have been tempted more to keep him back. However, because he is a male and quite frankly, I don't need so much Batman stuff in my collection. I'm probably, well, I am going to post them up. So if anybody is interested, all of these animals are going to be posted. It's up for that female super spot nose that I talked about in the beginning of the video. But all of these animals are going to be available. I mean, I'm, gonna have, I'm going to have my morph market linked down below. If you want to get a look at this guy. Absolutely fantastic looking Batman. Now the last animal is the super spot nose pastel clown. Now this is, might, be a soup, might be a possible super pastel. The reason why I put down possible super pastel is because I've seen a lot of Powerball or super spot nose combos and they're always really washed out. It's like Powerball or the super spot nose really does wash them out and adds like an exanthic tint to it. So when this combination um, came out, I wasn't quite sure whether it's the Powerball uh, giving pastel an extra white out or if it's super pastel doing its thing. Regardless, this animal looks absolutely fantastic. I don't know what pastel or super pastel did in this combination. However, it looks it looks fantastic. I really can't say enough good things about it. However, the wobble is there. I'm gonna be uh, all right and say it. The wobble is there. I was, you know, in the back of my mind, I was curious about what a super spot nose clown looked like. I looked all over the internet to find what they look like and there was you know I just couldn't find it um, and the main reason why I was looking for him is not because I was curious to see what it looked like but I was curious to see if a super spot knows um, whether clown helped or it didn't help and made the situation worse I didn't find any information about that um, and so I kind of went into this uh, pairing kind of half blind I like to know what my odds are before jumping into something and I really don't want to jump into something with uh, fatal odds, you know, like super cinnamons or super spiders. I did hear before that super spot nose is not lethal. It just produces that wobble syndrome in the snake and it really did. Now the wobble isn't severe. Both of the animals have eaten. They're both good. They both handle nice. They both right themselves. They're not corkscrewing. Um, it's just, you know, the wobbles there. Yeah, I, I'm not in the business of producing, you know, flawed or um, animals that have their health compromised by design. I'm not into that. So this is probably the first and last time I'm going to be doing this pairing simply because by the time my female or my pastel spot nose I used in this pairing, um, becomes available to breed again, I'll probably have a different male ready for her. Um, what will be ready, I'm not quite sure. I'm going to be keeping an eye out. However, I'm going to definitely get another male without spot nose just for this female so I don't produce any more super spot nose. But overall, I think this was a very nice power clutch. I mean, I produced a Batman. Can't really, I can't really say anything bad about that, right? So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Keep uh, keep an eye out for the next video I produce. And as always, it's well appreciated that you guys come back. 
All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one.